Okay, so congratulations on the film. It is so much fun. I had oh, such a good you. time watching it. I imagine it feels a bit of a childhood sort of Cluedo loving dream come true to play a potential murder suspect. Completely. Cluedo is a great reference, actually, because yeah. I love that game. I love the little murder weapons that came mm. with it, like the little. Sp but you would always lose them. So when you came oh, yeah. to Christmas and you're trying to play it, you'd have to use an actual spanner, which is what we took the Did whole you use length an of, of the board. <laughs> Game board, but yeah. Did you have a strategy for how to play it, like pick your character? Not really. I sort of lost interest after 10 minutes sort of playing <laughs> games like that, but I just like to think little miniature things. Anything. Do you think you'd make a good detective? Um, no, I, I don't think... I mean, I'm ru rubbish even watching... I mean, I love watching murder mysteries, but I never... Mm. I can't work out who the killer is, ever. Ever? Even if it's obvious. Yeah, and I'm really bad at that, so I don't think I'd be a good detective at all. <laughs> I sort of go for the easiest option. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Which of the cast do you think would be a good detective? A good detective? Um, I think Adrian Brody would be a very good detective. Yeah. Just He's like got the charm. Charm, yeah. bit moody occasionally. Mm -hmm. Sort of like, yeah, you really sort of feel his presence. He'd, he'd get to the nub of the crime quite mm. quickly. Yeah, for sure. Um, so you play Dennis. Yeah. Tell us about him. What kind of guy is he? I mean, there's not a lot to him, to be honest. He's just sort of like a bumbling theatre rusher, mm -hmm. a lot like myself, <laughs> without this theatre. But um, no, I mean, he's just, you don't, he's never sort of centre stage. He's sort mm. of lurking in the wings quite a lot. Um, but yeah, that's about it, really. He's quite tall. That's Quite tall. Yeah, I did have to wear these sort of like heels. Did you? Yeah, yeah so I look on. really weirdly tall in it, yeah. Um, do you have any theatre experience or... Usher, or was that not your Only not your sort bag? of doing nativity primary school, but no theatre ever, yeah. Not even a cracking like GCSE bullying style assembly performance? No, I didn't do um, drama. I should have done, but I didn't know. I, I haven't. So it's sort of the idea of theatre quite sort of freaks me out, but <laughs> film's a bit sort of a bit more calm, I think. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, when I was watching it, I couldn't help but think... Like the, this country links. I'd love to see how Curtin would react in a Who Done It. How do you think he'd get on trying to solve a mystery? Oh, he'd absolutely love it. I mean, if Kerry and Curtin could do it together, they'd just be like just the worst detective team of all time. Um, they just put their foot in it every which way. But the most entertaining. <laughs> but the most entertaining. People would yeah. pay to see that. That's what absolutely. matters. Absolutely. <laughs> So how did you get involved in the project? Did someone call you up like, I've got this great murder mystery, you should be a part of it? Well, luckily, I know, yeah, the director, Tom George, he's sort of my mate, and he just rang me up and said, do you want to be in this film I'm doing? And I was like, yeah, absolutely. So, no, I feel really lucky to be, you know, amongst, you know, the cast and such an incredible cast. Um, and to be doing it with Tom, who I know from this country, and, you know, I know the way he works. So it was, yeah, such a lovely experience. Mm. So why are people going to love this film? What is it about this murder mystery that makes it so special? I just think, I mean, well, you, the sort of murder mysteries we know are always sort of quite serious and dramatic. Mm. And I mean, this has got all of that, but it's also funny, which is really nice. So it's sort of a different perspective on the genre. Um, and it's just such a cosy watch, really. It's sort of set in the 1950s, which is mm -hmm. brilliant. Anything period. And, you know, the costumes are amazing. The sets are fantastic, you know. So it's just... Pure escapism, I think. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, can you sum up the film in three words? Three words. God, I, I'm, I'm really rubbish at this. Uh, um, uh, funny. <laughs> yeah. That's really basic. Um, exciting and murderous, Ooh, I'd say. Good words. I'm only saying that because that's what I used to someone else. I'm sorry. Thank you so much Thank for you. your time.